Thanks for taking me. You're welcome. <laughs> <laughs> going to the game so I'm gonna try and give you guys a little bit of a stadium tour but uh, I don't know because I'm kind of going with like a little work function thing mostly fun and games but I also want to be respectful to everybody else around me but um, I'll try and show you guys the inside of Allegiant Stadium a little bit yeah some pictures of the game some some money shots of Mr. Carr, <laughs> as, Mr. They, Carr. as they call him around here um, but yeah Hopefully, uh, hopefully it's good stuff. We'll see. Thank you. Welcome. Do you guys remember about two weeks ago, this came in the mail and I didn't want to be that neighbor <laughs> that did it too early. But I mean, we post Halloween, we good. Look. See those little holes. Oh, ah, okay. Yeah, okay, cool. I knew that there was probably some sort of little guide. That's cool. Rail thing. So there. It's so cute. Yeah. It's three little reindeer. I showed a picture, I'll put a picture here and then I'll, tonight when it's on, cause it lights up too. I'll uh, get like a nighttime picture, but we're putting them out, my friends. Look at its Somehow, tail. Yeah, there's, there's, Aww. Little, there's little side supports, man. Yes. This is actually, I actually like this. I want to show you guys too real quick. Again, this is uh, from Vingley, which you guys know I love. I love this brand. They have so many home decor items. They have Christmas <laughs> trees and other um, Christmas decor too. But again, there's three in here. But I mean, this box is a good size, but it this this is good. I mean, this isn't that big to fold it back up when t the season is done. No, and it, <laughs> it's and light. It's nothing, very light. It really is built, like from what I can see, it's going to be fairly easy to reuse. Yeah. There's... But you guys remember, not to like compare, but yeah, I'm going to compare. But at Costco right now, remember when we walked in like a month ago, they oh. had reindeer. They were like four hundred dollars. <laughs> this is not that, but they're so pretty. But seriously, my friends, I always tell you we got the, all of our like, well, most of our backyard furniture from Vingley. The pantry in the kitchen, Vingley. Uh, our kids' desk upstairs, Vingley. We love their stuff. It's oh, awesome. The kids' desk is the same. Yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah no. I like it. I like it. But yeah, you get three of these oh. in one set. We might have to get an extension cord, which we do have, but. Where's our outlet? Like, where's our closest one out here? Okay. <laughs> and I don't know what it is, my friends. Like, you know the inflatable ones that you can get that, like, became so popular a few years ago? I don't like them. I've got to be honest. And it's because in the day when they're not inflated, it just looks like you have a bunch of, like, trash, trash in your yard. <laughs> I don't know. But I know a lot of people love it. I'm just being, like, nitpicky. <laughs> But I like stuff like this more. Look at that. That's cool. And then it's like two big ones and one smaller one. But yeah, we'll have to like stake in the feet. Yeah. Does it come with stakes? Yeah. Oh, cool. Okay. And then the little power thing. Got it. Okay. How cute is that? Oh, our ring doorbell is not happy right now. Yeah. It's like, what are you doing? Let's check them out, my friends. I always tell you, just like, you'll have fun if you're like me, just browsing their website in general. But they do have like holiday stuff uh, in right now, including Christmas trees. 
and more like holiday decor stuff and it's not like mind numbing to put together of like <laughs> i hate that kind of stuff i hate that kind of stuff i do all right well you get it i'll show you when it's all all done well if that's not the cutest thing i've ever seen that is so cute and we just ran an extension cord to the back it actually comes with quite a bit of like slack but we just don't have an outlet out here and we're just gonna stake them in yeah they're so cute they're on right now but i'm gonna get a good picture when it's nighttime too Now we're at Home Depot getting salt for the water softener. We walked in and I'm inspired now. And I saw this and I'm gonna get it from my aunt because I told you guys she got the new golden doodle. And this looks like her little snickerdoodle. That's adorable. And how long does this last? Seven months. Seven to eight months. All right. I did a thing today. I did and I'm wiped. <laughs> Oh my goodness, I ran 10 miles. I'll put it here. Like I said, I have a heart of a lion and the legs of a penguin. Oh my gosh, I'm wiped, I am. But I have to show you this, this was so cool. What cool timing was this? And I already dove into it and it was delicious. I got a PR package from Liquid IV, which you guys know I love. And I kid you not, I finished the run this morning came in and it was at the door and I was like, no way. And I sh opened this one right here. <laughs> and I, I did, I got into it this morning and it's their new hydration and immune support drink. So think of it like uh, liquid IV meets emergency. And that's exactly what I had right after post run. It was wild berry blend. It's delicious, my friends, delicious. I do still have it linked below. I have for months now. We love it, we do. And it totally hit the spot. I came in the door, got this, opened it, was like, what? And immediately, cause I'm kind of the weird one. When I go on runs, normally I do like five. That's like standard for me. But sometimes I walk in between, I didn't. I didn't stop at all. And the lights weren't even on my side when I was at like crossroads and stuff. No, no, it just turned green. I'm like, <laughs> and, uh, I feel like I'm all congested now, but I'm, I'm actually feeling great. I just did that today, you know, but it's all coming down now. And I don't drink water when I go. Some people think that's like crazy and other people may be the same, but I can't do it. I can't do it. I, I think I've had too many bad experiences where I've drank too much and then it's over for me, like it's over. As soon as I get the slosh in the belly, we're done, we are done. And so I've just kind of like learned how to do it without drinking water. But I was so thirsty and this was so delicious this morning it was and I grabbed a banana and I was literally just banana and drink, banana and drink. Getting this new bottle, super cute. And then some socks, They're really, really soft. And then it says, lift me up. And I was like, what? Oh, oh, I just, I just bumped you. Sorry about that. And it gave me this, oh, I didn't even look at the back. Uh, this hoodie, I love that. Awesome. That's cool. Very, very cool. I love the color. These are also gluten-free, of course, vegan, soy-free and dairy-free. And I noticed too, not that I cared in the moment at all, but uh, this one's slightly lower in uh, calories too than some of them. I say slightly because it really is, but they're only 45 per stick. I wanna say some go up to like 70. Most are like 50, but uh, it was good. You get a lot of vitamins in this vitamin C. You get vitamin B, uh, vitamin B12, 330% of your like daily need. And zinc, God, <laughs> zinc is good. <laughs> zinc and vitamin C, my friends. And pan acetothenic acid. I don't even know what that is, but I got it. It was delicious. I love the flavor. It was so good. But I wanted to show you that. I thought that was so sweet. <sighs> but I'm spent. I am spent. I am. And you think I'd be starving, and I'm really not. Like, I'm just, I'm spent. I hit mile eight, and then it's just like, will, right? And... <laughs> My knee, my left knee is very sore, very, very sore right now, like the kneecap. And this happens sometimes. It'll go away. It's just not used to it, you know? And then the bottom, like, arch of my right foot, just, that's that's already better, but it was hurting around that time. 
I'm like, man, ah, this is 37, but we did it. So that's good. <laughs> anyway, just wanted to show you guys that. And again, linked below too, if you want to check it out, I highly recommend Liquid IV. I love it. It's good mm, stuff. If you know, you know. The Sofritas be simmering away. Oh yes, oh yes. I swear to you, this comes off on camera like so much yuckier of a color than it actually is. Ugh, this is our favorite. We love this. Making a batch, but look. Ah, I'm gonna attempt it, my friends. Here we go. Chilaquiles, we can do this. We can do this. I'm going to turn on and let this come to a little like simmer. And then you do this for like four to five minutes apparently. And then you remove them and you should be able to take off like the skin of the tomato. Let's pray. Man, sometimes on camera things just pick up. Hello, that you didn't expect. Like I need to clean my screen. Here we are. That's the chaos in which is my vlog. <laughs> all these things. Anyway, we're taking no chances. I'm pulling up the recipe. We're going to go over it. We're going to do this. I'll link this by the way. Happy Saturday, Sunday when you see this. Okay, I'm going to make the sauce now and I'm planning to have this for dinner later, but I still want to like show you everything that you need. It's pretty minimal. It's kind of giving me vibes of like, if it's as simple and I can pull this off as I think it, I can. <laughs> I feel like it will be a staple to have the sauce on hand. And I mentioned on the haul that like it freezes so, so good. It does. And I feel like it'll be like a staple like the Sofrida's recipe is for us. I hope we can do this. Okay, but like I said, it's like 1.15 right now. And I'm going to do like the tortilla part where we make our own chips, fry them up a little bit later today. I'll show you when it's like done and stuff, like a shot of it but I wanna do the sauce now. The star of it, in my opinion, is of course the sauce, but I wanna share this like little trick with you and it's worked, it worked out well. I actually like pressed four blocks of tofu earlier this morning, three I used for the sofritas, and this last one we're gonna use is our cotija cheese. I don't know how, I don't know, but it works, my friends. All you do, I do think it works better if you press it first and get like a lot of the moisture out, but you don't even really have to. But I do think you might have to use a, like a little bit more salt if there's still like a lot of moisture in it. And this way now we can use a little bit less. But all you do is crumble a block of tofu and put salt. That is it. And it really mimics, I don't know how, plus it's good protein, you know, uh, cheese, like sprinkle the cheese on top and you can use this for more than just this recipe, but I wanna share that with you. Let's do it, let's find a little dish. Yeah, I'm in, I'm in my Saturday best. <laughs> Let me move you down, okay, okay. You're tilted. Okay, so you take this and you crumble it. It's, it's that simple just like this. And it'll last a long time in your fridge too. But yeah, I would I would say press it. And the way I press things, I do have a, a tofu press for like a single block, but I just take two dish towels like this here and put one on the bottom and put one on top and lay out your bricks of tofu that you're using and place something heavy on it. I did that thing of flowers back there and uh, some potatoes, a sack of potatoes, perfect. You don't really need a tofu press. I don't really use it. Most of the time I press more than one brick at a time. So this is just my way of doing it. Anyway, okay. Then you'll need some uh, vegetable oil to fry up your chips if you are making them homemade. Six Roma tomatoes, I showed you. I got six in there plus two on the vine ones. That's okay, I'm just making it a little bit more. Uh, but six Roma tomatoes two to three cloves of garlic. Now that will be in the sauce once we get to that stage. But really all that's in the sauce as far as like spices go is garlic, marjoram if you have it. It's not like a make or break, but I mean, do it. <laughs> Salt and pepper and uh, cumin, that's it. Super easy and that's why it kind of reminds me of the sofritas because the funny part in the sofritas recipe, technically, technically, there's no seasonings in it. It's kind of my only recipe that's like that and yet it's like my favorite. Uh, I mean, you could put salt and pepper in it, but I don't. Uh, it's all in the soy sauce that's in it, which gives it like the flavor, the saltiness, um, but it's all in the like chili peppers. That's what really 
you know, gives it the flavor. It's so good. You'll need some fresh oregano, but that's just for a topping. That doesn't go in the sauce. And that's it, an onion, just again, to put on top, not in the sauce. The sauce truly is tomatoes, California chili peppers, which I'm gonna show you here in a second, and those seasonings of the marjoram, salt and pepper, garlic, cumin. All right. Last night, I think it launched two days ago, or maybe it was yesterday, Dead to Me season three. I'm gonna say nothing because it's so, so like fresh of uh, just being out and I don't wanna give any spoilers. I do recommend it, but I just will say, I did not know that they were gonna go there with it. And they went there, got me in all the feels. But I love the show. I, they're a great cast together. They really are. And it's really cool seeing Christina Applegate and uh, Katie Seagal like together again, it's cool, you know? If you go way back, I grew up on Married with Children. Yes, I did. A great family show. I mean, it's technically not, but it was in my house. <laughs> Look, it kind of even looks like it. Isn't that crazy? And then we're gonna just put, I just have some pink salt here. I'm gonna just do like this. A, a pretty good amount, because you're not gonna eat like all of this for one serving, you know what I'm saying? Because it is your cheese sprinkle. You don't cook it, you don't do nothing. You think you don't like raw to tofu, you're wrong. Like, <laughs> I'm just saying like, this is so simple, just like this. Like put it on your tacos and stuff, even if you wanna use that as like a cheese. I don't know how, it just does. It's good, it's really, really good. Behave, tomatoes, behave. Okay, so the star of it, Again, are these right here, the dried California chili pods. And what we're gonna do, okay, we're gonna take four or five, five. Now I think they are spicy. Look, they're cool, huh? And you can hear the seeds in there and we're gonna run them under some warm water and Kind of rehydrate them and make sure that the seeds come out. Okay. Oh, come on. We gotta just use the rest. It's fine. Actually, I'm gonna let them just sit in. I have a little tray in there. I'm just gonna let them sit for a bit um, and kind of rehydrate. We could chop the onion for later, but I can do that later. Personally, I do think white onion is the best for like, honestly, most like Mexican dishes. Like just as you're topping, I love white onion, especially in pico as well. And I got my fresh oregano here. And I mean, that's kind of it. And all you do for these tortillas too, is just cut them in half, cut them in half like that. You got your little normal chips there. Once that's to a boil, again, for four or five minutes, then we'll take these with the seeds out of them and put them on top and uh, let those simmer. Hold on. Place tomatoes in a pot and cover them with just enough water. Wash dry, okay, California chilies and devein them. Taking all or most of the seeds out, rinse them and put them on top of the tomatoes. Boil them for about four to five minutes. Then cover them with the lid and turn off the heat. Let them sit there while you're doing your chips. I'm just, again, I'm kind of doing this out of order. Oh gosh. Uh, take the skin off the tomatoes and blend them with the chilies and your seasonings. Okay. Yeah, those are my dishes that are drying, but see, they're kind of getting a little bit like flimsy. Okay, so I see here. See those seeds? They don't smell that spicy. I don't think they're considered a super, super spicy one. Um but anything with seeds really, if you leave them in, does bring more heat to it. All right, we're losing some in here, okay. Oh, that was a good one, that was a good one. We kind of busted her open. Oh, there's a bunch of seeds right there. Yeah, kind of pop off the top. 
Yeah, okay. Yeah, I'm just gonna take the tops off because I think that's easier. I think that's good. Okay, it's boiling, oh my God. Let's turn this down a bit. Okay, looks like this. Oh, ooh, the skin's already coming off. We're doing the things, okay. She said, put it on top, just like that. And then put this back on out four to five minutes. This is good, because even if some seeds come out too in there, that's fine, because we'll individually pull these out to take the skin off the tomatoes and then blend it all and stuff. Okay, guys, I have high hopes. Well, not high, but like hope. <laughs> okay, you know what? I totally lied and I want to make this now for myself. So, I'm gonna remove these uh, sofritas here. And then I'm gonna use this pot over here to fry up some tortillas. Yep, okay, I can do this. And because I have no patience, here's how I do it. Because I'm not gonna ladle that sofritas in here like, like one at a time. It's not gonna happen. Do it in your sink. Commit, commit. Does it splatter everywhere? Sometimes, like in your face and your hair. It's part of the experience. Did it. Just gonna use this with some paper towels for when the chippies are done. Yep, I want this now. Thank you. Vegetable oil, all of it. I can leave it there, right? And then like I can make a batch now, just to let it sit on the stove for a few hours off and then like reuse the oil. They do it at fast food chains, you know what I'm saying? It'll be fine, they do like another batch later. Okay, cool. It's been like four minutes, I'm nervous, okay. I'm gonna take my blender. I'm not turning on the oil yet because it makes me nervous. This is where EB is so patient. I remember this. Oh, these come right. Yes! Okay, okay. She would get like every little piece off. Now I need. Oh, yeah. Okay. This is wonderful. Oh, heck yeah, man. Now she did say you can air fry the chips too, but I mean, we're, we're going in. We are going in. And then she said, if you don't have like a high speed blender, that's okay, use what blender you have, but you might at the end, which we won't really need to do, um, like strain them after and just to make sure that like you do get any of the skin pieces that may not have blended like as well. Now as chilaquiles, I know typically I see it with two eggs on top or eggs on top, not necessarily two, but I think that's just how you see it on a menu, right? And is that like the traditional way or is that just an addition that like restaurants and stuff have done over time? Obviously keeping it vegan, we didn't and we didn't before when she made this for us when they were here. Okay, so now gotta find them chilies. Oh my gosh, it's smelling right already. Ah, yes, okay. So if you didn't get, I get it because if you didn't get all this skin pieces off, which I probably won't technically get at all, but if you didn't and you didn't have a high speed blender, I could see where it wouldn't be super creamy. Still with me? Still, still hanging on here? Okay. Don't rub your eyes after this. Yeah, you can kind of just like go like, yeah. See, and there's all your meat of the pepper. Okay. Much easier when it's slightly cooled. <laughs> yeah, don't rub your eyes. Don't forget. Evie, if you're watching, what is the pepper that you grinded in your Vitamix when I came over one day? This was a long time ago, and we all choked. Literally, you too. <laughs> it makes you choke. Like it literally goes down your throat just being around it. What kind of pepper was that? I don't think it was this, but it was dried. And she was making something absolutely delicious, but like you wouldn't necessarily think so at first because like, I mean, it truly chokes you. What is it? 
Okay, I, I feel good about this. Was that just chipotle peppers? But no, it was something. I don't know. We need our pot again. Like, cook the sauce. I'm gonna turn on the oil. We are going to blend. Till super smooth. This is where I'm getting the Sofritas vibe too. It's a weird glare. All right, here we go. Calm, calm. Turn it down. No fires. Okay. Oh, heck yeah, man. Ugh. Don't crowd them, but you can do multiple. I remember she said that. This is good. We're good. Everyone's good. See? All right. Oh, heck yeah, man. To lightly brown. Don't overdo it. Pull them out right before you think. That's what I remember. Okay, I'm gonna put the garlic cloves in here. And put this back into our bowl. I think these are good. Now they'll feel a little soft, but not like as flimsy, but a little bit soft, right? But once they sit for a minute, they'll get crunchy. Now you can do it however you want. And this is what she told me too. I prefer them to be like crunchy chips, more of a nacho vibe, because you know I love nachos. But then you can do this where like you almost take the chips and soak them in the sauce and have it be that, I just, I don't know, I love me a good crunch with the sauce on top. You can do it however you want. Cumin, let's do it. I don't measure, can't do it. Some pepper, a little bit of salt, got it, some marjoram. We're doing it, my friends. This is actually pretty easy. Says the girl who hasn't tasted it yet. Oh my God. The smell. It's right. Yes. Oh my God. She's gonna be so proud. The smell. Yes. Oh man. right it's right oh yes okay we're gonna let the oh man we're gonna let it simmer it's not too spicy it's okay we we done did a thing my friends we done did a thing okay i can do this more i can do this but yeah so you would take a little bit of oil take some of your sauce put it in a pan Put your chips in that and let it all cook and soak together. But I just do it a little different because I prefer it that way. It's still delicious however you want to do. Oh my God. <laughs> but, uh, okay, okay. The oregano's a must. I don't know why, but it is. Oh, I'm just letting it thicken up. It's just bubbling. Heck yeah. Now you put a little salt on the chips too once they come out of the oil. But honestly, they don't really need it. Like they're delicious like this, but what the heck? I mean, we're doing it. Mm, the oregano is super, super strong. Most of the time I feel like recipes call for like dried oregano if you're gonna use it. Not this one. Not this one. I remember when we did this in June, it was out, fresh oregano was out at Vaughn's and we drove over to Smith's just for the oregano. We did. I'm like, no, 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 no. I want it all. Oh, it smells right. Oh, they're warm. I mean, they came out of hot oil. It makes sense, but. Baby, did it. 
tray ready. And see, look, like the ones that have been sitting from the first batch. Yes. Oh my God. Like I said, you don't have to do this with homemade chips, but splurge. Good little layer there. <laughs> I want you to see it. Oh, yes. I'm gonna do this way too often. Tofu. I like a lot. I know I said like you're gonna just sprinkle it or a lot. A little bit of your onion. Your oregano. <laughs> Getting teary-eyed. Oh my god. Are we ready for the bite? <laughs> Which one? Mm -hmm. Get a little bit of everything. Yeah. Here we go. I know I say my favorite meal is nachos, and it is, but this, to me, is still a form of it. This is sheer bliss. Dreams are made of these things. Oh my goodness. I'm gonna send a picture of Nate. He's at work. He got there at 10, it's two. Likely he's taking his lunch soon that he packed. I know I said I'd make this for dinner later, but if I send this picture, I would not be shocked if he comes home for it now. Absolutely delicious. It is not spicy at all. It just has such good flavor. It's very similar to like an enchilada sauce. It is, uh, but it, it's still slightly different. And it's so good. Man, okay. I was working on a Walmart order for tomorrow, for tomorrow, when you see this, for groceries. And I think I'm going to add some of this again to it as far as the oregano. Well, I still got a good amount, but the uh, the chili, I have another bag of chili pods. Tomatoes, make sure you got the tomatoes and I'm gonna make a huge batch. I did it. All right, send the picture to Evie. Tell her I did it. I will link her recipe in the description box like I did for the haul. Please try this, my friends. Please, please, please. Please do the trick with the tofu. I swear to you, it's delicious. And it's so simple as you saw. <laughs> I hope you enjoyed hanging out with me. I enjoyed hanging out with you. And I'll see you guys next time. Bye. You make a lot. <laughs> I have to get more ingredients to make more this week. I got to. It's good, right? It brings you right back. How much do you have more of this? Not very much sauce left, I know. But I'm going to mm. rectify it this week. Oh, man. This is it's solid. <laughs> yeah. Oh, man. <laughs>